Hello and welcome to my channel, Django1911 here. I am still reeling from the announcements that our president, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte of the Philippines, made just this day. It is as monumental as it should. This is the day that the Philippines pivoted towards peace. We as the smaller nation chose peace rather than waging war over trespassers on our backyard. It is quite hard now for me to get back into knife mode after that. That's about as nationalistic I can get. The update on how things are going, it's so fast, it just keeps on changing. But this day, October 20th, Thursday, 2016, this is something you would remember, we would remember as you grow old because it's just, there should be no war. And that's what my president did, De decrease the tension. The best way to decrease the tension is extend the hand of friendship. And we do accept it coming from China. Thank you. No disrespect to our U.S. neighbors. It's how one famous columnist in Facebook would say, President Duterte is playing mahjong with China and on the other hand is playing poker with the United States so yeah that's how you would put it in a scenario that most people would understand on to the knife this knife is coming from China and yeah the Chinese the Philippines the Russia in the states everything is just moving 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 it's in constant flow this knife if you see the the, the logo that would say GTC in an authentic term that will be the initials of the knife maker who would be Gustavo T. Seccini. I hope I got that right. Owning an authentic Gustavo T. Seccini custom knife would probably tantamount to selling both of your kidneys. One would probably just get you there, you know, it's not really that good of a knife yet. So, I do not plan on losing any kidneys at the moment. i just be settling on a copy of a Gustavo T. Ciccini supersonic model. The design of the knife is called supersonic. But the maker of this knife is a Chinese company or a guy. And its name is A. D A I pronounce it Adai and he and one other knife maker there or maybe a corporation or a group of knife makers there are one of those guys that really 
crank out, crank out good good quality knives already at a very reasonable cost and this knife, this knife is no exception this is a GTC supersonic a Gustavo T. Sacchini knife usually is very space age in design see if you check the knife there without that lanyard there it's almost symmetrical only the pivot point is out of place even the harpoon is simulated here that's his design style um, modern space age space looking you know influenced by that modern design this particular sample is the stone washed blade look at that fine stone wash that the Chinese did really nice stone washing on the blade very good very good pattern for the stone wash blade with a semi harpoon here on the top and a modified sheep's foot this is a safe zone here you're not gonna be cut in this part that's what a sheep's foot blade is for it's for an added safety just in case you're on unstable ground you're always working on unstable ground that you don't need to stab someone with it but still there's still full edge of the blade here hollow grind versus a what's the other one flat grind titanium handles both sides frame lock that's a bit of a fancy pivot screw art there standoffs in stainless steel uh, chrome or is it just polished hardware is titanium all the screws and no, I don't think that's, that's I think that's 420 stainless steel and uh, pocket clip is flame with a design on it the flame titanium pocket clip that's a solid pocket clip and that's nice blade would be uh, confirmed it's a 918 chromium 9 C 9 no, no, 9 CR 9 chromium 18 MOV molybdenum and vanadium lock up on this knife is really great it's this is a great lock up for flame frame lock that's already a solid lockup just about that's an early lockup also the flip action of this knife is not that fast because the blade is kind of long there's a length to the blade and when you do the flip it's like it goes out with authority But you can feel that it's not as fast compared to a short blade because a short blade just this one just a little bit longer but sorry still there how does this knife feel in the hand um, closed fist talon grip pocket clip in this side feels good no hot spots no. on 
the reverse talon edge up even though with the pocket clip is inside once your hand is there there's a bit of bump there but feels okay about on this side uh, feels better on this side because the pocket clip is out of the way edge out edge in edge in feels okay mm -hmm. this this part of this part of the handle is ergonomic to how your thumb uh, your thumb would be there so there's a thumb rest somewhere so <laughs> it feels good on edge in reverse talon right hand how about the left hand left hand feels better because the pocket clip is there so it's out of the way no bulge on the other side so <laughs> I was, I'm surprised it actually feels better <laughs> on this with this preference it's how you will train with it or how you will use it GTC Supersonic Gustavo T. Sacchini Design How nice it will be to own an authentic custom made GTC knife but Like I said, it's really quite hefty and expensive and it's just out of the grass for now so I am happy and content with this copy trying to find the paper wait one sec for a cutting test oh we need to wait first okay weighing test first then we do a paper cut test how heavy are you you are 7.2 ounces how about 0.44 pounds, 204 grams, 2, 0.204 kilograms, and 7.1 ounces. 7.1 ounces is just a bit heavy on the, on the heavy side for an EDC, except if you're really big and you don't have a problem carrying something that big. But obviously, it's gonna be something better on a on a bag, on a go bag. It's just near you. The lanyard is free. It comes as I bought it from the knife maker, uh, from the from the shop that I got it. So I just added this bead, a wooden bead, just in case you have something to crush, so that you can have tinder if ever it's gonna be used outdoors so mr gustavo t sacchini supersonic how sharp are you this has not to be fair with mr gustavo sacchini this has not graced his hands or did not grace his quality work it's just the design and the maker of this one is a Chinese guy or a company or an office or his name is Adai so let's see hmm. it's not a sharp I can hear it it could be sharper hmm. but remember this is almost like a half you know the, the length and the size of this knife almost is a field knife and field knife especially when you're gonna be dealing with when you're gonna be dealing with harder stuff 
it would just be nice to have an edge that is not as thin you know it's it, it would be not as thin because a very thin edge is a very frail edge and you wouldn't want that when you are hitting wood over and over and yes if you it depends on what you'd use it for you know it would be good for you know especially this this shape it's good for not just this because this flipper will get in the way on the chopping board so but for anything else it's good for what you call this outdoor things you know wood pre uh, wood food preparation because of the finish on the blade it doesn't have any finish on the blade so it's just natural steel so it doesn't have those toxic coatings on it it's good for food preparation just you know slicing onions and tomatoes and peeling potatoes hmm So, there you have it folks, a Gustavo T. Sicini Supersonic, built by Adai from China. And like I said, monumental day. I hope you liked the video. And as always, I'd be seeing you guys the next time. And mabuhay. Ang Pilipinas.